Today, you're going to see me building our, my first RTMS machine. You're going to see the design what raw footage. That's including me thinking really hard, trying to find solution to my problem, the stupid mistakes I made. And finally, you'll see me succeed. Through all this whole thing, we're going to be discussing about PEMF and why it works. So during the course of this build, we're going to be talking about uh, PEMF, specifically the way we build the mat and how it uh, can benefit the brain with the coils and the pillow. Also, I'm going to be highlighting some of the key factors during the build, and so that way you know some of the mistakes I've made so you don't do them. And also, uh, some key point, some things that I've learned along the way, or some things just common sense and etc. For example, right now I decided to mount the fan on the side. We're going to have an intake and an exhaust. And as you see right there, I am melting the plastic, removing the burr so the, the blade of the fan do not hit the plastic. It's really important. I learned that one the hard way, by the way. So does PMF help with Alzheimer? Well, the short answer is yes. Uh, the long answer, it's complicated. One, because once again, we need more research on the subject. And two, well, it can be controversial because that's not what we're used to. It's, it's different. We'll talk about how it does it in a while. Now, if you look on the, the bill there, um, one thing that you have to do when you develop something, you just kind of place all your parts and components everywhere, make sure nothing will interact with one another uh, in a way that they shouldn't be interacting with one another. You just mark your stuff, you make holes, and you will be making mistakes along the way. Don't worry about that. Um, that's what we're makers. We make mistakes, we make project, we make success. You'll be learning the hard way, like I do sometimes, but that's okay. <laughs> I like to vacuum a lot as I go, keep everything clean. Metal filings and electronics don't mix, by the way, so you got to make sure you don't do that. And here, I'm about to glue the PWM to the board, so I, I mark it so it, the glue has something to stick on. I found hot glue works really well with these, uh, these items. And here, we are going to insert the buck converter that turned the 24 volts into 12 volts, because the fans are 12 volts. Computer fans always run on 12 volts, they always, and they're cheap that way. All right. Can PMF improve your memory? Yes, that is um, probably one of the best thing to improve memory out there. And that's with good diet and brain exercise and practicing, practicing, practicing. But the PMF has been shown to stimulate your brain very well to do that. And I'll have some link in the, in the, in the description there so you guys can see what those things are. So now I just wired the fan together and now I'm putting the ground and you're going to see me watering and taking the wires off of these uh, machine parts there quite a bit because the mistakes I made. So does PMF help with Alzheimer disease also known as AD by the way? Yes, yes it does. As many research has been conducted uh, many results have been extremely positive. One of the big reasons why it appears to work is that it reduces inflammation. First of all, we all know that PMF interacts with the cells um, in a very powerful way. Um, I talked, I've touched on that many times during the, uh, the video series that we've been making. But it reduces inflammation, which helps drastically to conduct the electricity. Now there's a bunch of chemical composition and reaction that happens in there when you read those research paper. Uh, every five words you gotta do a research on what they mean by the words they're using, but the gist of it is it totally assists the brain to keep itself clean. And that's the key word right there. Keep yourself clean. Keep the cells clean. Keep everything going. Now you probably noticed there that I got two timers and we got a one timer called morning and one timer called evening. 
the morning one has a higher frequencies um, it'll be above 35 Hertz and that's the one to energize the brain that's the one to get things cleaned up in there reduce the inflammation make the blood flow make the connection between the synapses happen faster I mean the research showed like uh, when they use mice that a mice that had Alzheimer disease how did you get a mice to have Alzheimer disease I don't know they never explained that one but anyway they show that after uh, a month of being exposed to those frequencies, um, they were reversing or slowing down the, um, the effect of AD on the mice. And when they compare the mice with AD to the, the mice of the same litter without the AD, they found that they were acting the same, the level in their brain that they measure were, um, were perfect. So they concluded that exposure to PMF in the brain were able to reverse or slow down the Alzheimer's disease. Now, if you have Alzheimer's disease in your family, statistically speaking, you're more prone to face it too when you're aging. We don't know exactly why that happens yet, but one thing we seem to know is that proper medical treatment, proper diet, proper everything you uh, have a great chance of reversing or avoiding this if you use the PMF system. Now let's get back to the build. You see I put two relay and the reason why is when I had only one relay I was able to make it work but then you push the one timer and then if you push the other timer it would also activate the other one and then they were both beyond at the same time and both PWM were flowing waves at the same time. So right now I'm putting the power onto the the main power supply. Nothing too spectacular. There'll be drawing for you guys to watch at the end, um, and then you can just pause the video and just make a screenshot of it. Now watch this part. This is where I'm about to create myself the headache for the next hour or so. Uh, I'm laughing. No, I wasn't laughing at the time. I was actually cussing in French quite a bit. Not in a bad way, I was just like, what the hell is going on? See, I put the white wire and the green wire, and I mark my plus and minus so I wouldn't make a mistake. And look what I'm doing next. I'm going to put the a green wire first, followed by the white wire. And here we go, green wire and white wire. And I didn't notice. I did not notice I did that, obviously. And then... I put the two green wire together and the two white wire together and I put them to my power supply which created a short, a short circuit. And then you're going to see in a second I'm going to be turning on the power. There'll be no flame, no nothing, spoiler alert, nothing bad happens. But the power supply does not come on. You don't see the green light glowing in the corner there, nothing. I take that off, I'm like what's going on, turn it on nothing turn it off. and there you go green light is on so I don't know what's going on and I, I went on like that for quite a while so one of the most amazing research I read was um, on how PMF can improve memory improve the focus and they went in detail about why they think this happened and everything else but what was really important to me was the fact that they actually sat people down and they measure their brain activity, they measure their recollections and all that stuff. Initially, you'll find some research that said that there is no real proof of that, but if you look more in detail, you'll find out that they need to make testing more than just a week long, right? Okay, and <laughs> now I'm back to the drawing board. I still haven't figured out what the hell I did wrong over there. Um, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, this has been speed up quite a bit. So I sat there thinking hard for quite a while. Um, this, this is why we do these things, right, guys? I mean, like we we go around we train and we learn and we it, it just it just happens right it's, it's nothing wrong look at my puppy just spinning a million miles an hour that's just to show you how much um i was thinking hard so i decided to come up with a new design 
because I did not understand why it wouldn't work in the first place. So I'm doing this new design now and my brain is about to explode and fry, obviously. <laughs> um, and then I had a breakthrough and then I went nuts and I just redesigned the whole thing from scratch. I didn't have to, but um, I made it simpler, more eloquent anyway. And then I got a nice interlock between the two timer. So that way when you push one, the other one doesn't come on. Now, why I use two timers? Um, instead of just using one timer and the controllable, like the programmable PWM like usually we do. This is going to a good friend of mine, it's for his dad, and I'm pretty sure his dad is not exactly uh, computer savvy. So we just like to make things as simple as possible. So there'll be one timer morning, one timer evening, and that's the way he's gonna use it. And every time you make things simple, um, it, the intricacies inside just gets really complicated. Um, the more simple the thing is, the more option you have with being simple, the more complicated the build becomes. I didn't fix my mistake there, as you can see, I was pointing out the arrow. Um, everything was working fine beside the dead short that I was having, which I ended up burning one of the PWM. Uh, I had to replace both of them because they just couldn't take the wound for anymore. So while we watch me struggling there trying to figure out why nothing works, um, I want to share this with you. PMF has been proven many times over to increase the memory. We talked about that. You know what that means? That means like those kids with ADHD, those kids with attention deficit syndrome, or the kids nowadays that are just on YouTube and um, TikTok all the time that have the attention span of a, a dead gnat. Basically, if we build a nice TPEMF for them, it's gonna help them study. It's gonna help them focus. Hell, it's gonna help us do all that. I found over the years that it's helped me quite a bit. Um, I have more stamina in the brain, which is amazing. And I'm talking with my psychologist about this stuff. And she's really interested and we're planning on doing some stuff together on that. Get back to the build. You can see I'm going nuts with watering, dewatering and playing around and everything. And I finally found the mistake and then I plugged it in and what the devil did I get? That was no square wave it was one kind of atrocity from hell i was like oh no where's the noise coming from like seriously i finally found out my stupid mistake now i'm back into the magical pixies of electronics i'll save you some time you know i looked for the noise for a little while i was speaking french quite a bit uh, i had a diode but that didn't work at all um i'm by design i'm an electrician um uh, the magical pixies of the electronics is really not my forte. I found out what the issue was. I'll show you guys in the drawing. But here we are, 4 hertz. Here we are. Look at that beautiful, beautiful square wave. I mean, this is what you want. Nice and clean. No background noises, no accompany frequency. And now we're changing. We're making the other PWM kick in and we're at 40 hertz. This one will be the morning one, right? This is the one that's gonna energize the brain. And then if we look at the, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see it clear and look at that beautiful square wave once again. I mean, on, off, on, off. This is exactly what we want. Square wave is king, remember that. Now, the magical was to isolate the negative side of the PWM, not the positive side on my dry set of contacts. This drawing, you can pause it here, make a screenshot. Um, it's all you need to wire this. If you understand this, you'll have no problem doing it. If you don't, you can ask us, we can help you out. Emails in the description. Yes, I did fix that. That was just for testing purposes. I made that permanent. The fans are blowing cold air. Everything is there. The drawings is there. Everything is eloquent. Everything is working. Morning timer come on and uh, energize your brain. And then the evening one is to relax you to have a good night's sleep. Sleeping good is important. Very, very important. Okay, here we go. Then um, it, was, it, was an, it was not an easy build, but it was not complicated either when I sat down and actually thought about it and fixed my mistakes. Um, if you guys want to build something like that, that drawing right there, 
doesn't show all the wiring in involved, but all the major part is there. And if you're willing to tackle something like that, I'm sure you know the uh, you know enough to, to get around it. And if you do want something like this, just send us an email. As usual, I'm going to put all the parts in the description for that project. And uh, the email to contact us is going to be there too. So you can just give us a, a shout there and we'll go from there. I am very happy with the outcome of that project. Um, it was, it's going to help a good friend of mine and it's going to help his dad. And um, I can't wait to hear back from it and I'll keep you guys posted. In the meantime, as usual, be safe. Have a good day.